Well, yesterday we had an excellent opportunity to see Ridgeway's hawk in the wild in Los Haitises National Park. And today we're back at Punta Cana with Jorge and Gavin. And we're going now to see one of the nestlings which we got from the very nest we saw yesterday released here on Punta Cana. Let's go get a closer look. We've just arrived at the release site for these Ridgeway's hawk. This blind behind me has been set up by the Hispaniola Ornithological Society in cooperation with Punta Cana Resort. And we're being a little bit quiet here because they just released five birds a few days ago. So these birds are getting accustomed to their surroundings and we're trying to view them and monitor them from a distance. This hacking process is very intense. These birds have to get acclimatized and they have to be released fairly slowly into their new surroundings. We're getting amazing views right now of one of the nestlings whose nest we saw yesterday in Los Haitises National Park. Now, our experience yesterday with the Ridgeways hawks in Los Haitises was uh, amazing and, and very encouraging to see the birds being relocated uh, out onto the eastern side of the island where they occurred historically. Uh, the, the park, Los Haitises National Park, is uh, having issues with encroachment of farmers. Uh, there's a, a lot of habitat degradation going on. Uh, the population of hawks is, is having problems uh, and it's very encouraging to know that they are trying to create other areas where that hawk can thrive, um, thus uh, helping the species uh, on a global level. Jorge, tell us a little bit about why you chose this site as a release site for these Ridgeways hawks. We chose this site after we did our research of the area and knowing it's a historical place for the birds. Most important thing is it is protected inside of a private property. Thank you to Punta Cana, we can do this here. Well, that's wonderful. One of the world's most critically endangered hawks right here at Punta Cana. Three birds released last year and five birds released just a few days ago right here at Punta Cana. This is going to be great establishing a core nucleus population where hopefully in three to four years time these birds will be breeding here again in this part of the Dominican Republic. Well last year in about January uh, I received an email from my supervisor from, from our president of our company who had received a presentation uh, depicting the plight of the Ridgeway's hawk that showed that it was being uh, systematically eliminated. There was down to 200 individuals in the entire country and he said to me why don't we see if we can introduce it in Punta Cana? You know, obviously no one would try and hunt it in Punta Cana because everyone lives from tourism. When we looked into it, we found that the bird would, had actually historically occurred in Punta Cana and that it was a, a decent idea to try and reintroduce in different areas. And so that's how it started literally a year and a half ago. The project has been fairly successful. It's gotten a lot of attention for the Ridgeways Hawk here in the Dominican Republic, which is important. You know, Punta Cana Resort and Club is a pretty high profile company. And so to be interacting and having a project related to these Ridgeways Hawk is really kind of a high profile activity for these hawks, which really hadn't gotten a lot of attention previously. I'm so glad because, for example, my grandchildren came and they came to see them the other day and watch them. They were thrilled. And now we're expanding the uh, program. And uh, I think this is the first that will be important because that's moving other uh, companies of the Dominican Republic to assume that type of responsibility in different parts of the country. And I think that's the most important part because we could try to do as much as we can, but it will never be enough. But if many different companies take the responsibility and start doing the same thing, then we have a huge opportunity to protect endangered species of the Dominican Republic. They're important because preserving biodiversity and unique species is important, not just for the local people, but for the planet. It's a similar hawk to, say, red-shouldered hawk or broad-winged hawk, but it's uh, actually more colorful than either of those species. And it's made a living for many hundreds of thousands of years here on the Dominican Republic. It'd be a shame to lose it.